In 2002, the announcement of a newly discovered species in the human lineage would shake up our understanding of our family tree just a bit, and it would create equal parts excitement and controversy. Today, we're going to meet Sahelanthropus chidensis. Welcome to Pedal Powered Anthropology. Sahelanthropus chidensis was first discovered in 2001 by a team consisting of three Chadian paleoanthropologists, Adu Mahamat, Jim Dumabaya Yahunta, and Gongdebe Fanone, and led by French paleoanthropologist Alain Bouvelan. The Sahelanthropus discovery consisted of a small skull, distorted due to the intense pressures during the fossilization process, and a partial femur. The heavy brow ridge and tiny brain case, well under 400 cubic centimeters, combined with marked post-orbital constriction, showed that it was early in the evolutionary line. But the reduced canines and the lack of the diastema that hones the canines and makes primate dentition so really horrifying, combined with the forward-facing foramen magnum suggested not only bipedalism, but potentially human lineage. Analysis conducted by a team led by French paleoanthropologist Michel Brunet put the skull at around six to seven million years ago, well within the dates yielded from genetic information for our last common ancestor with chimpanzees. So all that stuff led the team to say that Sahelanthropus chidensis was likely the first species to evolve after the split from our last common ancestor with chimpanzees, meaning this guy is sort of the oldest member of our lineage. That's kind of a bold claim. And uh, naturally, it was met with a lot of skepticism. Not everybody bought it. And some of the skepticism, some of the criticism was... Apparently, other researchers have had a really hard time getting access to these materials. Um, on the one hand, they don't own this. Why wouldn't they want all the qualified scientists possible looking at this thing? But also, you know, they're not done studying it yet. They found it. They kind of get the scoop. Uh, when they're done with it, you can come take a look at it. Um, so that's... A lot of people thought it was kind of shady. Um, maybe, maybe not. And then lastly, um, they didn't seem to talk about that femur. It, it seems that they didn't consider it associated with Sahelanthropus chidensis, um, or at least not that individual, and so they didn't discuss it in that initial paper. Um, and, and if it is indeed on the human lineage, that... Um, sort of carries some significant implications. The place of Australopithecus, uh, the genus to which Lucy belongs, the um, sort of last genus before the rise of Homo, in relation to our ancestry, can, may be called into question by that. So it, it potentially really shakes up the earliest bits of our family tree. So, you know, there was debate, there's disagreement, that's kind of how science works. Um, but there isn't there wasn't really any necessary conclusions. I mean, you 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 were in camp hominin. Maybe you were in camp not hominin, um, but nothing was yet set in stone. Um, flash forward to 2020, almost 19 years after that initial discovery, when a new team of researchers led by Roberto Machiarelli, um, they published a new study on the skull and the femur. And more or less, what they said is, uh, you know. That dentition, it's all well and good, but it doesn't necessarily mean that this thing is hominin or, you know, any more modern than we should expect. It can just as easily be explained away by a female of a sexually dimorphic species, um, like gorillas. Female gorillas are much smaller than male gorillas, so sexual dimorphism can explain that. The uh, foramen magnum, uh, there it is, the foramen magnum, um, that's also all well and good, but it doesn't necessarily mean that this was a bipedal animal. It's kind of interesting, but not impossible. But then furthermore, they took a look at that femur and they, deter they, they decided that it was found, you know, close enough to the skull and far enough from anything else that had been discovered to be considered most likely associated with this critter, this, this individual critter. Um, and the analysis of this femur 
suggests that it did not belong to an individual that was habitually bipedal, meaning that while it probably could stand up and move around on two legs, like, you know, chimpanzees or gorillas, um, that wasn't its main method of getting around. And then finally, in the intervening almost two decades, um, the field of paleogenetics has advanced, and it's pushed back that window of last common ancestry with chimps to from five to seven million years ago to you know seven to 13 million years ago so pushes that way way further back and is just a little bit more shaky ground for hominin status of sahelanthropus to stand up so what does all that even mean well basically it means we know more now there's been more research more data collected more analysis conducted and the constant critique and review of your work by your peers is really the backbone that drives scientific understanding and discovery. And it is only a good thing. Even when it turns out, and it will, that your initial assessment was maybe a bit less accurate than you would have hoped. In this case, there's still a lot of unanswered questions. But it seems at least a little more likely that Sahelanthropus was not part of the immediate human lineage. That doesn't make it any less awesome. Within this time period, there are just as many unanswered questions about chimpanzee evolution or gorilla evolution as there are about human evolution. And if I'm being honest, you know, truth be told, whatever lineage it turns out that Sahelanthropus was a part of, it's almost beside the point to me. Because this is still an unprecedented and tantalizing look back in time at some of our earliest but closest relatives. What they looked like, where they lived, and what they were up to almost incomprehensibly long ago. cat and some Edmund cheese and uh, you gotta give us money at intro spin to patreon patreon.com slash intro spin you gotta give us that money so that I can get that nip Sir Edmund cheese Wow, this, I haven't done this in a while. I should do this more. <laughs>